some of you may remember when I did that video on which pedal do you want to see modified first. Well, only one of y'all voted. So, it was the DoD. And here it is. So, this is the FX42B Base EQ by DoD. And the name takes inspiration from the person who voted, the Super Chipmunk. The Sharpie's already wearing off, not having to rewrite things, but you know, that's how it goes. Just getting this quick demo out there. Maybe eventually I'll do a more comprehensive demo with multiple instruments. But this is just a brief overview. So what we've done is, well me, not we, but I've added three switches that actually do more than you think. They actually do different functions if the pedal's powered off or powered on. Powered off, this does absolutely nothing. This is like a weird kind of attack distortion, but not a full distortion. It's only on the attack. You'll see what I mean. And this um, switches from kind of like a really clear high highs boosted sound and a kind of more muddy lows boosted sound. But both are kind of usable and neither are too extreme. And once we engage the pedal, this is more of like a regular kind of distortion. This is, well, actually not, that'd be wrong to say that. They interact differently with each other once it's powered on. You'll just have to see. It's a lot more simple when it's off. So first, let's hear a pure clean tone of this super high-end, very expensive. I mean, like, you'd be lucky to find one of these under like $2,000. Um, this is the Casio SA65 with our audio output mod. It's going straight into a Yamaha GA10 amp that I got at Goodwill. We got our treble set to five, our bass set to five. Our drive is off, volume is pretty low. Let's hear our basic tone, which is piano. Piano is a great little uh, starting tone because you can see basically how things have been affected by it because you always know what it's going to sound like. So here's the piano tone. <laughs> can't play you know that okay so that's how it sounds now notice when we plug this in now we're gonna plug it in now when we plug it in and it's off it's always either gonna be in that high or low mode while it's off it's never gonna be like that just regular like you've just heard so now let's plug it in and I think I have it set in the high mode defaultly let's see where's our other cord there we go Remember how that sounded. Now listen to it with that high switch. Notice you can hear the, the noise floor a little bit more. Not all the time, but only when the note plays. Now let's put on that low. Ooh. That was not a pretty noise. Oh, it's powered on. Duh. Let's see. Look at that. We're so dumb. Got to get to that in a minute. But anyways. See? This is the high. Let's play something simple. Now let's put it onto the low. The noise is reduced, but it's slightly, the lows are boosted just a slight amount. So now let's engage that weird attack, first in high mode. Let's see here. Hear how there was that, that distortion on the attack, but then it goes away? It's weird. Now, if we put both, we put it in low mode, it gets weird. That weird modulating sound in the background. See, this is see high noise. It's kind of weird sounding, not as useful. But in the low noise with it turned on, I mean the lows boosted noise, we got this. You hear that immediate pluck attack that has a little bit of a distortion on it. Then it fades. It's just really weird. 
Maybe if we increase. Yeah. Let's hear that with a different patch real quick. See, if you you can hear it a lot better on this string sound. And then. No, no, it's weird. It's weird. It's like a background distortion. It's very interesting that it does. It only distorts the attack of your sound, and then the distortion becomes a noise in the background. Allowing your regular tone to go through, which I find that's actually pretty cool. And then this knob. It affects it a little bit differently once we're in this distortion mode. Notice it's a little bit different now. Not too much different, but a little bit. Crazy, huh? Now let's turn this bad boy on. Okay. This this should be with nothing set. Let's hear this. Let's go back to our just piano tone here. Turn that down a little bit. It's pretty loud, isn't it? Oh, sorry, we had this switch on. I didn't even notice it. Oops. But here we go. Let's hear this. So this is our our piano tone, just our regular piano. Let's throw on the bottom knob. I mean, <laughs> why do I keep saying knob? Switch. Sounds kind of like a trumpet. It's weird now. All right, turn that off. Let's do it normally again, but with this on. Notice with it on, it's like. Very interesting sounding. Let's engage this one back on. Let's engage this. Oh, that's, that's the ear destroyer. Now let's do something weird here. Watch this. it louder when it goes to the bottom. Here. You're hearing a little bit through this speaker. So 
I'm gonna try to move this a little bit further away. Better now. Thank you. 
that's enough for one day. <laughs> well, I actually got better results out of this than I thought I would. The Super Chick Monk. If you're thinking about modding one of these yourself, just remember, um, these pedals take these stupid tiny power supplies because they want they I guess they wanted you to buy their own back in the day, so that's why you use battery. But yeah, just to be warned, there is very very limited room in this pedal, so I had to mod two of the I mean put two of the switches into the battery compartment. And don't even ask me how I fit this one in here. I don't know how I did. There's just barely room to fit this. But anyway, see you guys. I might do a more in-depth demo with this sometime later. But this is just a quick, you know, just a show off of it. Alright, see ya.